Not entirely sure what's taking so long. There we go. Couldn't figure out why it was taking so long for it to actually go live. Can you guys hear me okay? All right, we'll get started in just a minute. I'll let you guys know what's going on. I uh, wasn't going to have time to record this whole mission this morning and make it live at noon, so I just thought I'd do a live stream instead. Haven't done one for a while on this game anyway. So let me go ahead and describe to you what the challenge is, and then we'll go ahead and get into building our ship for today. This one's going to be interesting. So here's the, the premise. This was submitted by someone called The Goose. And it says, after the humiliating loss of the Hood, the Blitz, and the failure at Dieppe, the British morale is at an all-time low. The only victories you've really had since 1940, or by 1942 are those in North Africa and the North Atlantic. The people want something done. The Ultra Intercepts report numerous German ships just off the French coast, and they also say they have a hunch that they may be going east to cut the Anglo-Soviet transport route. They say in the group it's the Scharnhorst, the Nisenau, the Hipper, the Prinz Eugen, and a number of destroyers. What's going on, Nelson? Scharnhorst, how's it going? Now, all you uh, have to cut them off with is a couple of old battleships and a few cruisers of all sorts. You think if you succeed, you will turn the British morale around and you have a huge impression. You will have a huge impression on the Kriegsmarine. You send the ships out to cut them off, resulting in the greatest battle since Jutland. Good luck and Godspeed. So, uh, we have British 1930 technology, uh, two battleships, a heavy cruiser, two light cruisers, and seven destroyers, as you see on the screen here. And the opponent is Germany, 1935 technology, two battle cruisers, two heavy cruisers, one light cruiser, three destroyers, two transports. Now, here's how the point system breaks down for this one today. Uh, 15 points for each battle cruiser that I sink or minus 15 points if I lose a battleship. Thank you, Zach. Appreciate that. So I lose 15 for losing a battleship. I gain 15 for sinking a battle cruiser. Uh, 20 points lost for each of my cruisers that I lose. These are brand new ships. It says don't destroy them. So if I lose even a light cruiser, it's minus 20 points. It actually hurts me more to lose a light cruiser than it does to lose a battleship uh, in this particular one. Uh, it's 10 points for each cruiser that I kill of his three cruisers. Uh, I lose two points for losing a destroyer, but I gain four points for each destroyer I kill, and I gain five points for each of the two transports that I sink. I believe that is a max total possible of 82 points if I sink all of the enemy ships and lose none of my own. So here we go. Let's get into our design today. So we've got the N3G3 class. We're going to go with the max size on this thing. I want these things to be killing machines. I think we'll get a little bit more speed. I don't know, let's say up to about 28 knots. Going to max out as much protection as I possibly can. The tricky part here is it doesn't allow for a lot of secondaries with these particular towers. None of these towers, these British towers, are really designed for good secondaries. Have I ever seen Gettysburg? Oh my goodness, many times. In fact, I was in Gettysburg when they were filming that movie. Uh, in fact, Martin Sheen was staying at the same hotel I was, so that was kind of awesome. Um, let's see. I don't know if I can get two tunnels on, or two funnels on this yeah, I can't. I gotta use a different tower here. Because I think this one will allow me to squeeze two funnels. Yeah, I can have barbettes in the middle of that hall. I'm just not sure I want to. Well, maybe I do. Let's see. My main. Here we go. Alright, secondary tower. Yeah, see, this secondary tower can go all the way in the back. Actually, it might not be a bad thing. So 
So if we do it like that, then that would allow us, especially if we're kind of facing forward, which I think I will be on this mission. Let's see if I'm okay to squeeze guns on this. Uh, I think I'm going to go with 16s in this case. There's a uh, Mark II for 17s. I'm looking at the at the accuracy. The accuracy seems to be the sweet spot is with 16-inch guns. And there's really no difference in accuracy between two barrels and three barrels. So I'm going to go with three. I wonder if I can actually go with a smaller barbette. I think I can for the 16th. Yeah, that works. Saves us some on weight. Okay, so Nelson says we can get barbettes. We can get barbettes on the center of this thing, which is actually going to be very helpful. Because that will allow us to put some things underneath there. I'm actually going to push this up a little bit. Huge four weight offset, but we'll fix that here shortly. Yes, I have seen the Mandal. I haven't seen the second season yet, but I've watched the first season and loved it. All right, what's the deal here? Did I accidentally choose? Oh, we're going to spread these things out a little bit. There we go. Can I just rotate? There we go. Still got a huge four weight offset here. I got to try and get another gun on the rear. Maybe a couple of side guns, although that's going to kill my weight. How about secondaries? Kind of backload the secondaries a little bit. That's crazy. The four weight offset is still intense. Um, let me deal with some of this other stuff, then I'll go back and deal with the guns. Figure all that out. Let's go at least aux two, shaft two, crop four. Yeah, this is not gonna work as is with the with the guns. We're gonna have to switch this around. Hey, hey, every day's different. How's it going? Decided to live stream this one today. I wasn't gonna have enough time to record this morning and get it uploaded. I don't think I'm going to worry about torpedoes too much, but if I do... I'll just go with standard. Give me long range accuracy, radar 2. We got to at least get some sonar on this thing. Almost out, on, uh, out of weight already, though. If I were to pick us in Star Wars Empire or Rebels in space, space or ground, um, you know, I haven't really watched Oh, Empire Rebels. You talking about side? Oh, Empire definitely, and uh, space. All right. Um, oh man, this four weight offset offsets no good, no good at all. And see, even taking those down doesn't really do much. We gotta scoot everything back. That gets us to 23. It's still pretty, pretty rough. I do like that we can throw that secondary tower way back there like that. All right, kind of going from scratch here a little bit. Um, how do we want to do this? Yeah. 
Man, even throwing that on there only gets us to 17. I definitely need these eight, eight inch guns because I'm going to need secondaries for sure in this mission to try and deal with all those destroyers and such. Still 17%. All right, so there's not a lot I can do. I wasn't really going to do go too far with torpedoes on this one because I don't expect to be that close. Maybe we can remove the... Yeah, see the four weight offsets a little better now. Torpedoes do have a lot of weight to them. We can go up to fours. Um, let's see if we throw a couple of these on here, what happens. Yeah, that only helped me by 0.2%. That didn't do any good either. Um, yeah, I might have to shorten it. That actually makes it worse. Oh, wait. Let's remove these. We can't go any further back with those secondaries. Still 15.9%. I'm just afraid this is going to affect my accuracy. Piranha, how's it going? Let's see what happens when we start. Adjust an armor. That's helping some. But not not a lot. If I go up on weight with their speed, that's just going to hurt my weight. Ah, oh, man. Yeah, I'm going to have to move the front tower back. I just didn't want to. I've been I keep moving them further and further back. That's just going to remove my ability to have quite as many secondaries as I'd like to have. I've been trying to avoid that. All right, that gets us to 4.2. That's not too bad. I just had to lose some secondaries in the process. Um, I don't expect to get close enough to use torpedoes, so that's why I'm really not doing anything with those. Let me check. My, my engine efficiency is good. We've got a little bit of weight to play with still. I guess 4.1 is not awful with the weight offset. I think that's what we'll go with. Now let me, now let me check and make sure I've got enough of everything here. Um, I'm worried about my shells having enough. Yeah, but that's a lot of weight. I'm definitely not worried about torpedoes. And actually reducing the number of torpedoes that I carry actually helps. And I'm actually gonna drop those to 18 inch. Oh. That had a big effect on weight, actually. Um, this gives me a little bit more room for some armor. All right. Sorry, I'm not catching your messages at the moment. I've just been too busy trying to build this thing. Plus, I don't want to be like looking at your messages and getting suggestions on how to build it because I feel like that would be a bit of an unfair advantage on the guys who pre-recorded there, so I don't want to do that. Um, we, can grab, we can throw a couple more 8 inches on this thing. We're just going to have to... Oh, wow. That went way over. All right, I'd rather have the armor. Okay, so that gives me six 8-inch guns on each side. I've only got a total of nine 16s, but I'm pretty well protected. We've got 28 knots of speed. And I think that's all we can do. So let's do it. Let's see what happens. Okay, so remember, I the, the main thing here is it actually hurts me worse to lose cruisers than it does to lose the battleships. So I, I, I kind of feel like I want to keep my cruisers safe somewhere. And I only lose two points for each destroyer, so I'm not too worried about that. 
So, all right. The destroyers are on that side. This is actually good. My... Where's my heavy cruiser? Where's my light cruisers? They're over there. All right, I'd really like them to get over on the other side. I'm going to attach them with the heavy cruiser. Let's start firing smoke. Oh, he's already nailed Victorious. And of course, we're heading the wrong direction for my guns to be able to get on him, so we got to start turning. Any live stream on Atlantic Fleet? Not, not planned at the moment. But certainly something I could do at some point down the road. I need those light cruisers to get over here. And it looks like they're working on that. I really don't want to lose 20 points because a light cruiser got hit early in the action. All right, he's got 14 inch guns, which he's already nailed me with a couple of times. You can see Victorious has already taken six hits for 181 damage. Not a great start. Our 16 just nailed something. Let's get over there and see what we hit. Is that one of his battle cruisers? I think it might be. Hey, there's a transport right there. See, I gotta take out the battle cruisers first. Those are the only guns that are a threat to my battleships. Of course, I gotta worry about torpedoes. Yes, there are historical battles in the Atlantic in Atlantic Fleet. I just haven't had a chance to play any of them yet. I'm gonna stay out of range of this guy's torpedoes as much as possible. So he's got nine inch guns. That's probably on his heavy cruiser. tell my destroyers to uh, to be aggressive with their torpedoes as long as they don't do any friendly fire all right we got our cruisers on the far side of my ship now where's my heavy cruiser no Orlando so here's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna spin around this way I want to keep my cruisers I want to keep my battleships between his fleet and my cruisers as much as possible and I don't want to have to micromanage that, so I'm just going to turn this way. As slow as these things turn around, hopefully my, my turrets can kind of keep up and won't lose too much fire. Let me go ahead and slow down a little bit to get some uh, cruise speed bonus on the accuracy. Ooh. Destroyer took a hit there. Mainly I want my battleships to take most of his fire. Pacific Fleet, that's not the one I was playing before, is it? I forget that what that one was called. Alright, Battlecruiser's down by half already. On flooding. Um, I want to get my main guns targeting him. Because I want to finish that guy off. Just got to watch, watch a little bit for... Um, torpedoes here. Orlando, stay on that side, please. I 
want him firing at my battleships as much as possible. And the closer I get, the better, because I've got some pretty solid uh, belt armor, 16.6. Orlando, over here. Stay on that side. I'm going to have to manually control the, the cruisers, because they're not going to do what I want them to otherwise. Do not want want to lose a cruiser. Too valuable in this mission. Uh, we're about to lose a destroyer, though. All right, cruiser just got some torpedoes in the water. There's the Baden and the Prince Adalbert are the battle cruisers. His light cruiser is about to collide there. First Bismarck. All right, we got torpedoes in the water here? We do. Oh boy, just lost the destroyer. So that's one destroyer down, that's two points lost. I have a feeling that may already cost me the mission because it wouldn't surprise me if one of the guys doesn't lose anything. Honestly, part of me wishes I'd just I think I should just send everything away and just do this with the destroyer or with the battleships so I don't lose anything else. There's a destroyer down on his side. Because I think I could do this with the battleships alone. Alright, we gotta turn this way because he's got his. Torpedoes coming this way. A little concerned about my cruisers. Okay, there's another destroyer out. into that one, aren't I? Yep. Oh no, Orion's down from one torpedo. Well, if that one doesn't get him, the second one certainly will. Oh, oh no, that's 20 points. Yeah, I definitely should have just sent the destroyer, or sent the cruisers off on a joyride somewhere. and just not even use them because the minus 20 points is brutal with the cruisers when they really aren't going to help me win this mission. All right, you guys just go away somewhere. Oh, I can't believe I lost that destroy that cruiser. Oh, we got a couple torpedo hits on first Bismarck. How are we doing on the battle cruisers? Baden's up. Oh, there he goes. Perfect. One down. So it's not a question of whether I'm going to sink all the enemies. It's a question of what else am I going to lose in the process. But I'm just getting the cruisers out of here. That minus 20 points just ain't worth it not worth it for what they offer me in this mission. My battleship can handle this. Hey, take care, Julie. We're going to finish off first Bismarck here in a minute. Oh, we just sank another destroyer. Nice big hit from the 8-inch guns on my battleship. 
Which battleship did that? Oh, it was victorious. Smoke. All right, torpedoes in the water. From the first Bismarck. I can take some torpedo hits on my battleships. I'm not too worried about that. First Bismarck's done. I think that's all we need on them. Let's go after this other heavy cruiser. There's his torpedoes. You can see them there. I'm going to speed up. I think that'll get me around them. A little concerned about my destroyers at the moment. I'm starting to worry a little bit about these torpedoes. Yeah, I'm going to take a few of them here. Oh, my destroyer just went right into one. I'm going to take at least three torpedo hits. Maybe, no, nah, four. Four torpedo hits. Just lost a destroyer. Oh boy, that's going to be a lot of flooding. As long as we don't take a, an ammo detonation, our flash fire will be okay. Sinking straight up and down, nice. Lost another destroyer. Dang. Is that three? I think that's three destroyers I've lost now. I should have sent all that stuff out of here. Destroyers and cruisers. <laughs> Every day is different. Venerable, more like vulnerable. Yeah, my 8 inch has no ac Of course, nothing on Venerable has accuracy right now. Let's finish these guys. Did I lose his? No, there's a battle cruiser right there. So I've lost a light cruiser and I think three destroyers. There's one, two, three, four. Yeah, three destroyers. That light cruiser really hurts, so that's 20 points. Destroyers are only two points apiece. All right, we can go ahead and speed up a little bit. Titanic didn't quite split in half. It split probably about two thirds and one third. It split, I think, right between the third and fourth funnel, which was right here. And it didn't completely split. There was a little piece on the bottom that stayed together as it pulled under. 
and then came apart after it was under the water. Part of the double hole bottom. I plan on doing a live stream for, for Atlantic Fleet, um, not at the moment, but one never knows for sure. A lot of my live streaming coming up is going to be dedicated to Grand Tactician Civil War because my next Union series will be all live stream. So there'll be a lot of live streaming of that one. Yeah, um, if you fell asleep in Titanic, you... You would wait. You wouldn't wake up with a live fish next to you. I think the twenty-eight degree water would have woke you up first, and uh, it very quickly would have gotten to the place where the pressure would have just collapsed everything inside. Because um, it only took it took like something like ten minutes for Titanic to hit the bottom, so it wasn't very long, and I doubt very much you would have survived it going down all that time. Well, I didn't, John, I didn't miss the rocket button. I didn't realize that rockets is what I was firing. I thought I was dropping bombs, so I thought that was something that happened automatically. I thought rocket was like an optional thing that I didn't really want to use. I didn't know that's what you had to use. I saw the button. Uh, Phil, I do not know if you can get Maryland and Delaware to join the South. Uh, unlike Kentucky and Missouri, there's no, there's nothing in the um, objectives that say, hey, if you do this, you'll get them to turn. Um, so I'm going to guess probably not. Because in the objectives, it tells you if you drive all the troops out and capture St. Louis or drive all the troops out and capture Louisville, um, then Kentucky and, Maryland, or and Missouri secede. All right, my cruisers are safely out of danger now. I'm about to lose another destroyer, though. Yes, uh, USS Torsk, there are. In fact, um, if you get enough support in other states, you can get uh, you can get them as well. And uh, there's also Union and Confederate West Virginia units, um, Union and Confederate probably Tennessee units, because there were some Union units from Tennessee, some from Louisiana. Most of Eastern Tennessee was pro-Union. Do I think the French would have won Trafalgar? Uh, no, but... How can anyone really say for sure? Yeah, this is just about sinking everything. Um, and then there's point values assigned to all the ships. Um, he's got 1935 technology. He had two battle cruisers to start a heavy cruiser, I think, a couple of light cruisers, some destroyers, and transports. I've got 1930 tech, so I'm a little older on tech. I had more destroyers, but two older battleships. I gotta get that other battle cruiser once I'm done here. I gotta keep an eye on my shells too. It looks like I'm okay on shells for the moment. There are some good hits on the heavy cruiser. We'll take out Hertha here pretty soon. I'm sending my cruisers away because they're really valuable and they and I already lost one light cruiser and they're just too many points I lose for losing those so it's not worth it to even use them in the battle. I really wish I had sent them away before I lost my first light cruiser. Yes, American and Italian navies are in this game as well as uh, China, Spain, Austria-Hungary, Japan, in France. There's another big hit that probably just about do it for the Hertha. 
Let's get the the secondaries on the transport. Firing on them. Yes, yeah, Stealth would like the Dutch being in it. All right, secondaries already lighten up the transports. Those are worth five points apiece. They're actually worth more than sinking destroyers. Yeah, the secondaries are doing real nice on those. There's a torpedo hit on the heavy cruiser. I think that might be enough to sink Hertha. First transport's about to go down. Once we do that, we'll switch our secondaries onto the light cruiser. There we go. And there goes Hertha. Man, I could have done really well in this challenge if I had just sent my destroyers and my light cruisers, or my cruisers away and just fought it with the battleships. Would have been a lot easier to manage kind of dodging torpedoes. I could have had them separate from each other so I could have controlled them independently. But I don't get to go back and get a redo. It's first time, so you learn a lot from what you do wrong. Yeah, I'd like to play some more Foundation at some point. Hey Spartan, how's it going? Good to see you. How'd you do on this one? So it's not Convoy. He had two transports. I sank one of them. There's still another one. He had two battle cruisers. This is all 1935 tech for the Germans. Uh, two battle cruisers. I'm trying to remember the rest here. Let me read it to you again for those who just joined us. Uh, so he had uh, Germany 1935, two battle cruisers, two heavy cruisers, a light cruiser, three destroyers, and two transports. I have 1930 tech, two battleships, a heavy cruiser, two light cruisers, and seven destroyers. You can see what he's got left, which is a battle cruiser, a transport, and a light cruiser. I lost a light cruiser and three destroyers. And everything has a point value, but the, the light cruisers in this scenario... Um, to lose one is actually more valuable than losing a battleship. So I lost 20 points for losing one of my light cruisers. Um, two points each for losing three destroyers. So I've lost 26 points. The max was 82. So I'll end up with 56 points on this mission if I don't lose anything else. Which I doubt very much will get me first place, but hopefully will keep me from last. Nice, Spartan. Got max points. And that's exactly what I should have done. I should have sent everything else away. And I could have gotten max points on this one. Yeah, Spartan C, and I uh, I probably will complete it sooner than you did. If I would have just sent everything else away, I'd have been okay. Because none of those other, I mean, my battleships have done almost all the work. Anyway, I think I'll definitely complete this before 9.09. Every day is different. You lost everything but one of your battleships? See, I was afraid that was going to happen to me, especially if, if I would have gotten too close. He could have just lit up all my other ships. Got my four destroyers back here. My, my cruisers are long gone. Let's get these secondaries finishing off the light cruiser. Well, at least every day is different. Just prom it just told me that I didn't finish last, so I feel better about that. Yeah, every day is different. I, I, if it hadn't been for the points you would lose in a mission, I probably would have done that. Uh, I probably just would have sent everything, just you know, kamikaze style, and then held my battleships back to finish off whatever was left and hope that I took out a couple of things. But since there were so many points on the line, I kind of sat back. Hey, Piranha, enjoy. Congratulations, Spartan. I think we've all kind of taken turns 
being in last and being first, which is kind of cool because it shows that not, no one of us has really kind of dominated these challenges. Uh, there's nobody that's been like first or second every single week. Some of us have been last, some of us have been first. That's one of the cool things about this is you get to see how everybody approaches things differently. I can't wait for a campaign. I've said that so many times, I know. Taking a while to finish these last guys off. I'll have to check out every day's different crazy team, uh, crazy ship. Ammo detonation on the Prince Adelbert. Adelbert. I love how his uh, turrets are into his tower here. He's in smoke right now. That's why we're having such a hard time hitting him. Oh yeah, Hanson, it's coming. As soon as they give, give us that Alpha 9, we'll have the quads. And we'll have 19 and 20 inch guns too. That'll allow for some interesting new challenges. Oh yeah, I imagine the reloads will be rough. Alright, come on, let's finish these guys. It's taken us a while to get these last couple of kills. Now I'm starting to doubt whether or not I will be able to complete it before 9.09. I'm going to be into some non-strategy gaming here later today because uh, I believe at some point today, maybe even happening right now, that uh, the beta is going to be released for Football Manager 21, so I'm excited about that. I've already pre-purchased the game. I'm just waiting for the beta to be released. We're supposed to be able to get it two weeks early. Stealth came close. So then it leaves Brother Monroe. I may be third or fourth then. Man, it's just been a while since I've sunk anything. That light cruiser just keeps kind of driving around in his own smoke and it's making it hard for me to hit him. Only a 6% chance. And now we're up to 7.3 because he just lost his smoke finally. The nice thing is at this point he doesn't have any torpedoes. That light cruiser doesn't have any torpedoes. The battle cruiser does, but he's too far. Oh no, he doesn't either. Perfect. So there are no torpedoes to worry about. So we should just head straight for him. My favorite time in history. I don't really have a least favorite Lafayette. Um, my favorite time in history, though, uh, would be the American Civil War. And then after that, British medieval history. And then probably the American Revolution after that. I'm a big fan of, um, in British medieval history, kind of the, the Wars of the Roses time period. That's always been, been fascinating to me. Hanson, that's a great point about American football being called football. I, I've wondered that myself. It makes a lot more sense to what, for what we call soccer to be called football, which it is everywhere in the world but here. Every day is different. I agree with that, too. It would be really cool to be able to design the enemy ships. Then we can actually recreate some real historic scenarios by building the ships on both sides. course where is that and what's it called yeah we're down at 909 now so I'm not gonna complete it as fast as Spartan did not that it matters because I lost more ships I got his first, uh, some of those first ships pretty quick and then just things slowed down big time. There we go.
Now we're getting some nice hits on the Prince Adalbert. And on the uh, Ariadne. The question is which one's gonna sink first. And then that poor transport's gonna be all by itself. So every day's different. There's um there's what? There's the you got the Belfast in London. What other museum ships are there? HM isn't the um there's one of the frigates, isn't there? From uh from the eighteenth century. Victorious, that's the one I'm thinking of. Have I heard of the ACL? The only ACL that I'm aware of is the tendon in my knee. Yeah, you would certainly think that the UK would have a lot of museum ships just because of the the strong history, uh, naval history that uh, the British have. HMS Victory, that's the one I was thinking of. That's the one that's in Portsmouth. I haven't seen the Midway. Uh, the, the ships I've been on, I've been on the, uh, the Intrepid, which is in New York City. It's a um, ba uh, battleship. Er aircraft carrier. Uh, I've been on the USS Wisconsin, which is a battleship in Norfolk, Virginia. There goes the light cruiser. Uh, and then the Missouri in uh, Pearl Harbor. Been on a few submarines, too. I want to visit the Texas once they finish that one down in Houston. Alright, we're about to finish off the Prince Adelbert. Let's go ahead and target the transport. Nope, not what I wanted to do. I can't lock on this thing. No, I didn't mean to do that. Now we got our, our main guns fired. Ah, oh boy. I'm gonna pause so I can do this without it moving on me. Ah, oh, it's the Munich. München, I believe that's German for Munich. I've always found it fascinating that, I mean, I don't know what it's called in Germany, but uh, that we call the German soccer team Bayern Munich. Because Bayern is German for Bavaria, but shouldn't we then call it Bayern München? Or Bavarian Munich? I don't know. It just seems like we're using... Like one German word and one English word when we call it that. All right, just the battle cruiser left. Yeah, the Wisconsin was the first. Um, well, no, it wasn't the first because I visited the Missouri before that. Um, Wisconsin was a long time ago, though, and I wish I had been doing my channel back then. I could have made some really nice video there. Uh, visiting the Wisconsin. Maybe I'll get there again at some point. It's only about eight hours away from me. There we go. All right, that's the end of it. So I got 56 points. Definitely not enough for first. Should have sent my, my other ships away at the beginning, but that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to drop a like before you leave. I greatly appreciate that. Check out all the other guys' videos. I will put the links in the description. Uh, in this video uh, just as soon as I wrap up this live stream. So um, thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you again soon.